Jeez, I've stopped. So, yes, what I say, the shy drug syndrome, that you need to exclude the shy for the erectile dysfunction, asking the question, do you have any other problems with the erectile function? And second is, the drug is the drop of postural drug, and so that you can exclude them the shy drug syndrome. Second is the shy drug syndrome. Once again, there is a oligopontocerebral atrophy, another variety of multi system. Oligopontocerebral atrophy itself, the feature that you need to look for, bedside examination clinically, so that you can say that this is oligopontocerebral atrophy or not oligopontocerebral atrophy. So you need to exclude by doing the P for pyramidal science at the best side and also the cerebral science at the best side. So pyramidal science, what you need to do, how do you show them? Show them. Show them. So the two important tests at the best side that you need to do, olivo ponto cerebral atrophy. So P for ponto, P for pyramidal, and pyramidal test that you need to do by doing the plantar response. Very simple. So, so it's a flexor plantar response here. So here's the flexor plantar response. So having the flexor plantar response, so definitely the ponto with the ponta is not involved in the pyramidal track is absolutely fine. Along with the cerebral test that you can do, the standing to do the test, do it So he has some of the tremors, so because of tremor, he is unable to do so. Otherwise, he doesn't have any of the problem with the cerebellar syndrome. So what we need to do, we need to do exclude the cerebellar syndrome along with the pyramidal tract syndrome so that we can say this is not a variety of multi-system atrophy or variety of Parkinson plus syndrome to exclude the pyramidal tract science and also the cerebral syndrome. Along with these all them together, the, the Parkinson plus syndrome that I said, the first one is a progressive supranuclear palsy, second that I said, the multi-system atrophy that includes the Scheidegger syndrome, and second the oligopontal cerebral atrophy, and third important is the dementia with the Lewy body. Dementia with the Lewy body itself, the features, the D for dementia, I'm saying the three trials that we need to remember, D for dementia and L for leptics, the neural leptics, because these patients are highly sensitive to neural leptics. Yes, and the B for, I'm saying, the visual hallucination, so that you can remember the three important trials, you know, so that you can diagnose. So once again, how to differentiate from the Parkinson to Parkinson plus syndrome as a dementia with the Lewy body, because this dementia is an early onset dementia, means within a one year of the Parkinson disease, the patient's features, if they develop the dementia that we grouped into that, dementia of the Lewy body rather than this is Parkinson disease dementia. Why I'm saying that? Because the Parkinson disease is also complicated by that dementia. But it happens after one year of Parkinson's disease. Means the Parkinson disease dementia is a delayed dementia in contrast. DLB means the dementia of the Lewy body having the early dementia. So these are the one differentiating cut points so that you can differentiate the DLB and HLB. So what I said my dear, this is very important, the Parkinson plus syndrome starts with the number one progressive supranuclear palsy to test the vertical gaze palsy, to exclude it. Second one is very much important, multi-system atrophy that includes number one, shy Dragger syndrome, shy for erectile dysfunction, Dragger means a drop of postural blood pressure. And second one is a multi-system atrophy variety that we called it olivo ponto cerebral atrophy. It does mean that you need to exit the pyramidal tracts and by the plantar response and the cerebral syndrome, at least the single test at the best side, the finger nose test. And the third category, that is the DLB, is the dementia with the Lewy body. You need to ask him how this is dementia or dementia is developed within one year or maybe after one year. So that you can differentiate all them together along with the features of trial, the DLB, D for dementia, L for leptics, means the neuroleptics, and having the features of D for visual hallucinations so that you can remember all them together. And exclude the Parkinson plus syndrome. So you need to exclude any important disease as I called the Wilson's disease. So you need to test at the best side. Maybe you can see with the torch light to look at the eyes, come, come close, to, come close, to look at the eyes uh, with the torch light. Or you can refer this patient to the ophthalmologist to do an slit time examination to exclude the Kaiser Fletcher ring of Wilson's disease. So that you can exclude the Parkinson plus syndrome. And I said it, there's a Wilson disease. And third important disease that you need to exclude, there is a drug induced Parkinson. So we need to talk at the end of the bedside, then you need to talk, I'd like to do, take the drug history, whether this patient is taking any of the anti-psychiatric drugs, so, so that you can accept the extra you know, side effects of the anti-psychiatric drugs, so they can also produce a psychiatric, means the features of 
markets and videos. So what I say, that what the task that you need to do, number one, that you need to show all the triads, all the features of markets and videos. And secondly, that you need to show them the other features of Parkinson Plus you know, that you exclude them all together and thirdly that you need to show all the features of secondary means the other goals of Parkinson Plus syndrome so that you can put together make a diagnosis that the Parkinson disease so this is a case of Parkinson disease elderly man so what treatment you should start because it's more than 65 so you should start with the level of one I'll talk in another video clips regarding the treatments of the Parkinson disease so yes still man you can like it Yes, share. Thank you very much.